Hello everyone, uh, Tim Taylor here with this month's T3 Technology Tips with Tim video. I hope everyone's doing well. Let's go ahead and hop into our resources uh, for this month. Uh, the first site I want to talk about uh, today is a site called Symbaloo. Maybe some of you all have heard of it. Uh, basically, Symbaloo is a site I probably started using uh, probably about five or six years ago. And uh, the application originally was a way to set up tiles, which are actual bookmarks to websites. And so it's kind of like a visual bookmarking page. And this is an example of one right here. Uh, uh, so in other words, this is a link to Amazon, YouTube, Facebook, et cetera. And then there's right here in the middle is always a place you can just go ahead and search the web. So, uh, and, and Symbaloo is free, so it was a free account. Uh, but what's nice is, is they now have added lesson plans. And so it's a lesson plan. It's not .com. Again, it's free. And it's a great, uh, what I like about these lesson plans uh, are, is they are a collection of resources. And it's really uh, lessons where you can basically assign the Symbaloo lesson plan on whatever uh, objective topic that you want. And then the students basically can, can follow uh, the resources in a, like a gaming type format. And the best way I guess to really do it is just go ahead and show you a video here. It only lasts about a minute. So let's go ahead and share this video with you here uh, that explains it. With Symbaloo lesson plans, you set the first step to personalized learning. With 10 years experience in education and 10 million users, we know digital resources are the future of education. There are so many great digital resources available, but how can you connect the best resource to a student? With the Symbaloo Lesson Plan Creator, anyone can create a digital lesson. Each lesson is set in a game board-like environment, which students are guided through educational resources like videos, articles, interactive content, or tests even. While the students are walking through the lesson plan, the teacher has access to real-time statistics. The ability to offer a personalized learning experience for each student is a reason why we love technology so much. From now on, everyone can learn at their own pace and level. You can even use lesson plans from other teachers. Wouldn't that be a huge time saver? Start today with Symbaloo lesson plans and take the first step to personalized learning. Okay, so I think it does a good job of explaining it. And uh, if I go right here, as they mentioned, they already have lesson plans already created, and uh, and they call it the marketplace. But again, everything is is free. And notice here, I can actually select by grade level. Okay, the different lesson plans that they have. Uh, for example, here's one time graphs and data. And what's nice is 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 other teachers preview them, and they go ahead and rate them. Uh, so in other words, you know, the ones that have a lot of uh, stars, uh, good chance obviously it's an outstanding lesson. Um, but again, so right here, in other words, you've got the ones that are related. You can add it to your own account. You can actually try the lesson first. Uh, click on that, see it actually brings it up. And again, notice here, in other words, it talks here about times graph and data. If I roll across it, an icon kind of tells you what it's about. Like this is a video about I can tell time. Okay, and there's different resources. And like it said in the video, you can add uh, assessments, et cetera. You can actually track it. And, and again, it's all free. So I really highly recommend that you check uh, Symbaloo out. Uh, the next uh, site I wanted to share with you uh, was about Robert uh, Koplinski is his name. And I'm just going to go ahead and type that in here, robertkoplinski.com. What I like about this site is uh, it's got all kinds of neat lessons that are tied to real world problems. So basically it's a problem-based lessons, all right? And what he does is, is he will take things that are pertinent to, to current events. Uh, and the thing it's topics, I think that that's your students can really relate to. Like here it says, how many chip bags will there be? Uh, you know, a lot of kids obviously see these flavor mixed bags they can get. This is kind of a spoof when I watched or I looked at this the other day about how many hot dogs and buns should he buy. And it shows Steve Martin in a scene from a movie where he buys eight hot dogs, but all the buns always have 12 in there, and he refuses to buy the extra four. So they're, they're really cool. And, again, they're all problem-based, but it boils down to within these lessons, there's a problem the students have to solve. 
Uh, so again, I highly recommend you check them out. As you can see, it goes from kindergarten all the way up to algebra two level. So again, Robert Kaplinsky website. Uh, the next thing I want to go ahead and mention is uh, I've been sending out uh, emails about uh, digital learning day tomorrow. Um, and um, the hashtag I've shared with you is this uh, hashtag SCPSDL day. Uh, and uh, hopefully the people will use their social media accounts to use that hashtag and, and share what they have going on in their classrooms. I know you all do a lot of awesome things with digital content uh, throughout the year. Uh, the other thing that we ask that you would go ahead and go to this Padlet site and add uh, some examples of what you're doing in your classroom. And it doesn't have to happen actually on Digital Learning Day, but whatever you're using. Uh, for example, I went ahead and put up a, an agenda with links to a, a professional development workshop I did on Google Sites, uh, Screencastify extension, and add-ons for forms and sheets. And it's very, very easy to add content here. All you do is just basically double click. Uh, and what it does, it brings up a blank box and you just type in a title. You can put it in a description and maybe that might be all you want to do. Just explain maybe what you're, you're doing in your classroom. But another thing you do here is really neat is you can add, okay, attachments. So you can actually put a link here to uh, a URL, maybe of a Google Doc, uh, Google Slide, Sheet, uh, Form, whatever that you may be used. If you do share a Google document, I'll make sure when you go up to, uh, if you do that, you go to your sharing option and make sure you have it on for the public to view the link. Uh, that way, the people don't have to worry about requesting access. You can also drag and drop files up here, maybe some examples of work that were done. You can also take a photo from your webcam, maybe of your students working, uh, if you want to do that. But, but I really appreciate if you would go here and play some content so people come here and see the uh, different exciting things we're doing with technology in our school division. And so for our word uh, for the door prize this month, let's go ahead and use Padlet as a secret word. So uh, P-A-D-L-E-T, let's go ahead and use Padlet as our secret word. And then finally, the last thing as I've been pointing out the last few months, uh, please don't forget about Discovery Education. Again, everyone has an account. Um, as I mentioned before, <clears throat> what's nice about this site is they're always adding new content. Whatever's applicable to the time of the year, things that are happening out in the world, current event type things. There's a lot of great resources here. Uh, and of course, you can also search according to your, our SOLs. But again, great website. So please keep making use of Discovery Education. I've been looking and it seems like we have been doing a whole lot more uh, use of it. But again, I still think we can use it even more than we have been. So again, I hope that everyone's going well with everybody. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, so everyone take care. Thank you.